While Spanish home cooks don't use a lot of spices, paprika is the national flavor. So when you reach for this warm and savory spice to infuse chicken and potatoes with a Mediterranean-inspired one-pan recipe, you are truly cooking the Mediterranean way. The silky, saucy base of tomatoes and peppers keeps the chicken nice and moist while it seeps into the potatoes to make them meltingly tender, oozing with deep flavors. I can't think of another recipe besides the iconic paella that speaks more of Spain than this one because all the ingredients are everyday staples. Potatoes, tomatoes, bell peppers, paprika, garlic, and a handful of fresh herbs. Spain uses three flavor profiles of paprika known here as pimenton, mild, spicy, and smoky. Spanish cooking is not spicy like Mexican cooking, so the mild or the smoky flavors are the most common. I have to admit that for me, the earthiness of paprika was an acquired taste, but now that I've lived here almost 10 years, it's a spice I reach for every week. It's used to add a classic Mediterranean flavor to everything, from roasted meats, vegetables, and potatoes, to stovetop paellas, soups, and stews. For a crispy skin, salt and refrigerate the chicken for a couple of hours ahead. Preheat your oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit, 210 degrees Celsius. Let's put together the sauce with one tablespoon of sweet paprika, two cloves of minced garlic or more if you really love it, one teaspoon of spicy paprika or more if you really want a kick, and one teaspoon of oregano. Now the liquid ingredients. Two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil and one and a half to two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. Now just mix it really well until you have a nice thick pasty sauce. Time to prep the potatoes cutting them into bite-sized pieces and evenly coating them with a little bit of the sauce. The final simple prep is just to slice up three to four cups of mixed bell peppers into long strips. Evenly place the chicken pieces on the sheet pan with plenty of space in between and give them another sprinkle of salt. Then generously brush all the pieces with that rich, luscious sauce. This will turn into the most incredible pan sauce, infusing everything with a little smoky flavor of the paprika. Now just pile on the peppers all around the chicken and nestle in the potatoes. Finally, fill in any space with cherry tomatoes and make sure to prick each one so they don't explode in the oven. With a little extra drizzle of extra virgin olive oil, it's ready to go into the oven for 25 to 35 minutes. It's been about 30 minutes, so let's check the temperature of the chicken, and at 170 degrees, it's just right. 
that's left is to serve it up with plenty of pan juices and a little green salad.